Hello everyone and welcome to today's Pick A Card Reading. We're going to do some angel messages for you. So if you've come across this video, there may be a message for you. Um, we're going to tap into each group's collective energy. So it's timeless and take what resonates or do get different messages. The first card, which represents group number one, is Autumn. And this says, release the old and rest. So that's the first group. The card that rec rec uh, represents the second group is the Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. And the card that represents the third group is Stag. And this says Trust and Thrive. So I'll just show you that one more time. So take a nice deep breath in and choose which card that you feel you are drawn to, which will represent your group. And I'll get started with group number one, which is the Autumn card. Hello, group number one, and welcome to your reading. Let's see, angel messages. You chose this card here, which is the Autumn card. It says, release the old and rest. And there is this crow on your card, group number one. It feels like there's something emerging with you right now. Um, and the angels are saying that they want you to take some time to rest. Because I do feel like you have been having some energy upgrades. So if you've been feeling kind of any sort of unusual sensations within your body. Um, or if you've been having um, thoughts that have been coming up in your mind. Kind of repeating into your mind some ideas. But also I'm getting like maybe some old thought patterns. Um, or perhaps there's things in your life that require some attention um, in regards to perhaps forgiveness um, or you know past memories um, if these have been coming up into your mind it's time to release them and let them go that's why it's been coming up into your consciousness it's just to let you know and to um, allow you to give forgiveness to yourself and allow you to fully release this situation so that you can uh, move into a new situation a new experience um, and also to be able to hear um, the messages that spirit has for you as well um, also like in regards to um, manifestation as well I feel like there is a portal opening there is an opening for a new manifestation coming in for you each and every one of you this will be different but it's like right now it's kind of that time of um, really releasing and letting go um, of something so that you can receive something new here it's just like the autumn leaves that drop off the tree in order for new growth to come in so there's there is new growth for you group number one so be open to that so let's have a look at what other messages we have for you this is the Archangel Oracle cards group number one angels group number one what messages do you have for group number one? Okay, so we've got a few cards that have popped out all together. We've actually got four here. I'm just going to shuffle them here and feel which one's next. Okay, so we have the four of Gabriel here. Look at this beautiful card. It feels really happy. It feels really like free flowing as well. It feels like um, very celebratory. So I feel like there could be a celebration coming up or a sense of fulfillment that's coming up for you once you release the old. Um, and I, I want to say, um, and this is not for everybody, but if there was a past kind of relationship or commitment that you had um, that had ended, I want to say that there's an opportunity for um, someone new coming in or a new experience coming in that's going to kind of, it's going to be better than what you had experienced before. So if this is a past relationship or past experience that kind of you had um that had disappointed you that had not worked out group number one what I'm getting is is just um, to 
let that go because your angels are saying that there's a new experience that's much better, that's much more fitted to you and they want to bring that in for you and it's going to be so happy for you. You're going to feel so good about it and you're going to understand why it didn't work out in the past for you. It says time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So yeah, anything that's burdening you, group number one, um, have a look at it and does it really need a place in your life is it making you happy all right so have a look at those situations okay um and also here it says abundant rewards for hard work so if you've been putting a lot of hard work into something group number one i can see this really turning out for you i can see that you're going to get the results for your hard work and you're going to feel really happy about it you can see archangel gabriel there in the background watching over you wanting these blessings to come in for you group number one so it's beautiful time maybe for some of you as well you've been already going through a time of releasing the old and now there's a celebration a new beginning coming in for you it's very magical it's a manifestation it's something that you truly desire from the heart and and, and you're going to feel so happy about it we have the six of Raphael for some of you this could be someone from the past this could be a past life connection or a connection that that um, is from childhood also this could be a childhood dream or it's something that you have been really wanting something that you've really dreamed about um, I also want to say here with this six of Raphael it's that inner child and I feel like um, play is coming up for me as well I feel like this um, new beginning is going to help you feel so much more lighter happier I feel like it's a time of um, a great expression for you as well and great healing I do get a lot of healing here and a sense of like feeling um, feeling really inspired as well I feel like this new beginning is going to inspire new growth for you a new sense of self for you as well we have on here new friends or rekindled relationships so there could be new friends coming in as well um, this could be an, a, um, a friend perhaps um, a, a very close relationship in regards to a friendship and this could be somebody who um, this could be a new connection but also this could be a connection with a childhood friend that starts to blossom um, and become something more is what I'm hearing here um, and it could take you by surprise um, it's interesting because for someone watching and um, please take as it resonates but for someone watching I'm they're showing me Facebook or you know and I'm seeing and it could be any social media but they're just showing me in my vision Facebook um, it could be someone messaging you from your past that you might have even forgotten about and perhaps there's a rekindling from there so that sounds really exciting and really beautiful all right there could also be a time of um time of like perhaps if you have children perhaps there's like a lot of um kind of connecting with your children and healing with your children as well we have here the six of ariel next beautiful another six card beautiful um, this says material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness giving and receiving with a grateful heart there's a lot of love here a lot of healing here and look at that rainbow aura on this angel I see this as your aura group number one and as I said in the beginning there's something very magical here there's a manifestation here whether this being a connection or whether this being something that you've been really working hard towards it's coming back everything that you've put out group number one it's coming back to you and this is going to be very fulfilling for you all right so leave that past behind because there's new new life coming in here and we have the seven of Michael and this says there is a better course of action available to you working alone may not be the answer review all the details all right so I feel like you have been re in a place of reviewing I feel like you perhaps um, when I look at this card there's kind of two paths ahead to 
here and one of them is quite unknown and one of them is quite you know you can see well both of them are unknown but one seems darker than the other okay so I feel like for some of you maybe you've been kind of going through a period of where you're not really really quite sure whether this manifestation was going to come in or not whether you were on the right path or not but I feel as though the message here is that if you're feeling that way you are on the right path um, and that you are um, definitely coming into this manifestation here and I, but I feel as though as well with the seven of Michael that um, you know don't don't doubt yourself as well because I feel like um, sometimes the doubt can overwhelm you group number one and it can kind of um, I feel as though like you, you can sometimes put blockages up for yourself by putting the self-illusion around you another message I'm getting with the seven and Michael as well perhaps you've been going through a period of where you just feel as though um, life has been against you or that people have been against you but I see this changing and I see it changing in a very magical way there's a beautiful unfoldment that's coming here um, you went through these experiences so that you could come into um, understanding of what you do want and what you don't want um, and so you know for yourself um, and for also for other people is what I'm hearing but this, there's this beautiful unfolding that's happening for you, group number one. So be open to that. Let's see what other messages we have for you. Oh, we've got lots of messages for you. There's lots on the cards for you, group number one. Look at this. We have justice coming out here. So beautiful balance is coming in for you. And where there has been imbalance something new is going to come in and it's going to balance things back out for you and I, I get like with this card as well you can see one side is um one scale has been like lower and one's higher but I see that the scales are going to even out for you all right where you felt a sense of um where you've been deceived or if you felt betrayed by life in any way I see that you're going to see the other side here and it's just um, life has been uh, uh, giving you a an experience to see what you don't want so that you can create what you do want uh, your dreams are coming true you know we do have new beginnings here like I said there's a beautiful magical beginning you can see a family here for some of you this is in regards to family you do see a lot of mountains here so that there has been difficulty but you've had the strength to get through this all right it's very very beautiful it says starting a new life some of you are starting a new life finding a purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past you've been in review of the past here or you are in review but it's creating something new for you and we have the nine of Michael so this is saying to, to put the past behind put your worries give your worries to the angels okay because there's nothing to worry about because we have this oh wrong way we have the sun here so it's going to turn out very very positive for you so don't worry group number one everything is going to work out beautifully for you there's no need to worry the worry is just you trying to protect yourself the worry is because you're you perhaps used to experiencing um what you don't want all right but I feel like there's this opportunity for something really beautiful manifesting so give your worries to the angels group number one that is the messages I have for you I want to send you so much love bye for now hello group number two welcome to your reading so you picked the hermit card okay so messages from the angels for you when I kind of tune into this card I get this sense of peace I get this sense of like going within I get this sense of like a spiritual development as well so I feel like for you group number two that you are going through a period of spiritual development inner growth and expansion um, for some of you you maybe have been spending some time alone time meditating perhaps you've been seeking out the assistance from angels ascended masters or perhaps there's been a guru or a, um, a, some teacher that you've been um, 
receiving some guidance from or teaching from and I feel like this is growing you spiritually all right so I see an inner expansion happening for you it says retreat and recharge there may also be an opportunity for you to take a vacation take some time to recharge take some time to um spend with yourself if this opportunity comes up take it because it's sent to you by the angels all right it's going to be very very good for you i want to say as well that um for some of you perhaps you've been on that kind of period of like spiritual pilgrimage is that the word i can't say it properly um but yes perhaps you've been going through that period and now it's like you've learned so much from this. So let's see what the other cards want to say for you. So for group number two, please. Group number two. Okay. So we have the Queen of Gabriel. Passionate, charming, brilliant and independent. All right. It says you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Like I said, for some of you, there could be a teacher coming in that's going to inspire you or some sort of leader that's going to inspire you. Or you could be coming that leader after a time of your spiritual growth. You're going to become this beautiful um, spiritual leader or teacher in some way. Or this could be in any area of your life that you have are. Uh, um, kind of working in you're inspiring others or you're leading others in some way um, and it's like I get this feeling as well that you are very looked after I feel like um, your angels are also helping you to feel more confident about yourself in order to take the lead in order to take a chance uh, in order to um, share your wisdom as well all right there's a lot of personal power here and also with go after what you want you kind of have can i say a blank page to write on you have this um new script to write in your life this new creative process in your life so go after that group number two because you have been going through this spiritual um, development this spiritual growth for a reason and now you're ready to kind of like put those wings on grow those wings and fly or you've already grown those wings group number two and you're ready to fly so fly write that script for yourself all right let's see what other messages we have for you It's interesting because this card um, doesn't belong in this stack, but it's an Archangel Michael card. It says romance angels are helping you. So for some of you, you could be attracting romance here, or this could be you in your self-love. The, the angels are helping you with your self-love, or this could be attracting a spiritual partner who's going to support you. What other messages do we have for group number two? It's the end of a very difficult situation, group number two, a very difficult process. For some of you may have, might have felt quite alone um, in your experience, in your struggles, or you might have been alone and, and kind of uh, in that hermit stage, not much going on around you, but it's the end of this situation. You're now coming out into the light. You're now ready to attract you you're becoming very powerful group number two and this is because of everything you've been through and because of going inward all of that inward journey all of that um growth that you have um all of that growth you've been through is kind of it's going to manifest outside of you we have the queen of michael here and this says brilliant self-reliant insightful humor so you become self-reliant here you know who you are and that is very powerful own that power and this power you you are deserving of this power you use it in the right way you know exactly what to do the benefit of experience a time for your career rather than relationships so you could be face, focusing on the career for some of you, you might have been focusing on career for a while and the um and perhaps it's time for you to um, meet someone with the romance cards or perhaps you've been focusing on relationships and, and here's a message to focus on your career it could go either way group number two um, that's just a message 
message I'm getting here. But with the Queen of Michael coming up here, you know what to do. You're very clear in yourself that, and you can see with the like yellow flowers here, there's been a lot of like self empowerment here. You are very in touch with your intuition, your gut feeling your instincts so follow them group number two because you're very much in that leadership role or you've been shaped for a leadership role here you in some way shape or form you are leading you're leading your life you're leading others you're inspiring others you know um take that role because it's meant for you we have the knight of Raphael, right this is you following your dreams, going after what you truly want. Also, I want to say this cup, this um, horse is moving and it's moving quickly. And look at it moving away from any of the darkness, right? It's like you have movement now. Things are going to start moving forwards for you. Um, also, this also could be in regards to a um, romantic offer. Um, and it says commitments. Uh, committed romantic relationships right being swept off your feet situations or topics that make your heart flutter okay so going after what you want um, what you love or well, someone could be coming towards you very quickly we also have the ace of Gabriel here it says a gift of passion opportunity and inspiration a chance to do something amazing a sense of wonder there's this renewed sense of inspiration as I said for some of you there could be a spiritual teacher who is inspiring right now um, <laughs> interesting enough um, there could be somebody who's been very inspiring to you where their feelings develop all right um, that's not going to be for everybody but that message is coming in it could be forming into something more that you weren't expecting so that's very interesting and it's because like you are growing right and it's like something happens between the both of you that you it's kind of like you've met and it, it and it's like a relationship is blossoming from it there's new passion in this relationship of course this is not for everyone but that is a message coming through um, but yeah for, for most of you you know this is renewed passion you've got so much um, self-confidence and power and you, you're ready to bring this forwards you've also got the six of Gabriel here and this is congratulations you've done a wonderful job time to move on to the next project awards scholarships and promotions okay so this is beautiful you could be receiving a promotion um, you, you could be getting recognized okay um, also it's like victory you receiving um, victory you feeling victorious you've overcome something here you've you've overcome something difficult perhaps you've overcome a time of being kind of maybe on the dark night of the soul maybe it's just been that inward journey that inward growth and now you can expand and now you can be recognized for that and inspire others okay through from your growth and you know again there's that that horse so if things that haven't been moving forwards they're going to start moving forwards very successfully for you group number two and your angels is saying congratulations you've done a wonderful job so please pat yourself on the back for everything that you have done for yourself because it's put you in the right frequency to attract what you exactly want for yourself all right and we have here epiphany look at that this is and it's it's kind of like looks like kind of like the hermit card again you know he's holding the light and he's got his wand and it's kind of dark but through this period you've been able to come to an understanding of yourself of your situation of your life and you've been able to manifest from this point um, you've been able to understand yourself more fully which creates a beautiful uh, unfolding on your path group number two all right and the last card we have for you is the world what a beautiful ending to your reading group number two this is completions here you've completed a cycle a very happy ending coming full cycle circle spiritual growth and insight so well done group number two that is your messages i want to send you so much love bye for now hello group number three welcome to your reading you chose the stag 
All right, so this is Trust and Thrive. Interesting. So for you, group number three, the message I'm getting is to trust your instincts, trust yourself, trust your journey, trust in spirit, don't give up and keep moving forward. So they're showing me the chariot and the chariot is bringing those forces together within you to move forwards. Like, because you know, you generally see the dark horse and the light horse. So this is your higher self and your lower self. And this is bringing those forces together in order to create balance, trusting yourself. I want to say as well, like if you've been doubting anything, I want you to connect with your higher self, like meditate, ask your higher yourself to ground in so that you can make the best decisions for yourself so you can really thrive all right I also want to say like I'm seeing a lot of food like the spirit showing me food on the table it's like a banquet so I want to say as well like eat good food but also I feel like there's this sharing this is sharing aspect so for some of you there could be an opportunity for you to kind of share with others spend time with others and there's this like sharing of food interesting we'll see what other messages come out we have here the two of Michael, indecision. Also, I get with this is kind of like that um, confusing energy. It's conflicting energies. And I was just talking about that light and dark. It's kind of like the ego getting in the way and um, kind of gridlocking you from making certain decisions or just being free within yourself it's like um an, an inward battle um i know this is not the five of swords card but this is the energy i'm getting here it says it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem find a compromise okay so i feel as though yeah release any self-doubts here because i feel like really doubt keeps coming up so i feel like that's kind of what's getting in the way here for you um and you if you find yourself over analyzing something it's because um you are doubting something here all right so that's definitely an indication here for you um but also it talks about making a decision what's the best decision for you all right I also want to say like getting the vision of like food I believe food can cloud us it can cloud our um, head so eating really good food could help clear things up for you as well maybe you've been feeling foggy in the brain uh, maybe you're not getting enough of what you need all right that's just a side message we have hit the 10 of Ariel so this is a beautiful card and we're talking about sharing so perhaps there's something you could share with others um, share your worries share your concerns perhaps there's a message is coming through other people from your angels group number three so just be on the lookout for that it says there is so much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life all right so um perhaps that's something that you're really wanting and perhaps you're just kind of like doubting whether it's going to actually come into fruition for you but with that card coming out it's definitely a possibility don't doubt your journey don't doubt that you can thrive because you definitely can thrive all right so share your worries share your concerns um, with the angels or uh, have a chat with your friends um, also there's like you kind of um, meeting other people I want to say connecting with your community perhaps in, there's a, a need to meet a network with other people all right just take what resonates the next message we have is nine of Gabriel here and it looks like a farmer here so you know there's there is some work here involved stay determined and move forwards be prepared for any possibility and environmental activism perhaps some of you are involved in the environment in your community environmental activism perhaps some of you are uh, live in a farming community or something like that um, because I did see all those that fruit and vegetables perhaps there's like trades that could happen with it in regards to food as well well if you are having trouble um, 
with kind of buying food right now maybe you could trade food in some way that's just a message coming up but this is saying stay determined despite any obstacles because you can definitely have that beautiful um ten of pentacles there that beautiful satisfaction and that um sense of um you know financial not sense but having that financial success and having that stability for yourself um and you know the nine of nine of gabriel you know it feels as though you know it's just been a little bit tough you can see here um the garden right it, it it's not flourishing but the soil looks really ripe, all right? So it's there's definitely a beautiful potential here for you, group number three. We have here the eight of Michael. This says you can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly, okay? So those doubts that you have, that they aren't true. It's just your fears, okay? But you definitely have that potential. Move out of your comfort zone. All right, and that can be difficult, I understand. We have the King of Michael coming up as well, all right? This is the, the King of Swords, right? This is Archangel Michael wants to help you with the truth, to see the truth of the situation. It says wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Be honest and open with yourself, group number three. And we have the Ace of Michael. So here we go. This is clarity. This is truth. This is seeing the understanding. This is um, this is the guidance that's coming through for you. Any other messages for group number three? Oh, look at this. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time and support. A change in a job or promotion. For, so for some of you, there could be a job change here. There could be an opportunity that's coming up. A tangible opportunity that's coming up. You're going to get that clarity. You're going to know what change to make. There is a change coming up and it's a an, an physical offer that's coming in for you, group number three. So put your doubts aside and move towards your success. That is the messages I have for you, group number three. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.